Australia's mining boom was never going to last forever. In a land rich in natural resources, mining makes up over 52% of our total exports. However, with the opening of each new mining pit, chemicals are leached into our water, polluting our rivers and eroding our land. It's time to act. Time to find a green and renewable energy source before our beautiful landscapes are forever scarred. Experts have been turning to edible crops such as sugarcane, grains and soybeans as a source of power to fuel our daily lives. Although initially promising, the production of these biofuels brought about new waves of problems. One of which was it created competition between food and fuel, driving prices of food staples up. Because of this result, many organisations called a stop for the mass production of biofuels. We cannot turn back to fossil fuel. The only way is to make biofuel better. Introducing Pongamia, a new generation of biofuel. It's an inedible crop that will not compete with production of food. It produces large seeds containing 30 to 40 percent oil which can be converted into biodiesel. It is also a legume plant with the ability to conduct nitrogen fixation, reducing pollution and the cost of fertilizers. With such promises, the question now becomes exactly how ready is Australia for Pongamia? Let's start with land resources. Australia's northern east coast, ranging from Darwin to as far south as northern New South Wales, has the appropriate soil type to support Pongamia growth. Land that has been scarred by strip mining, such as this one in Kalgoorlie, can also be rehabilitated using Pongamia plantations as the trees are able to grow in soil damaged by mining operations. In terms of climate, Pongamia can be grown in subtropical or tropical areas. This can be found in regions stretching across from northwestern Australia all the way to Queensland, where temperature ranges from 30 to 39 degrees Celsius. During the 2011 Brisbane flood, Pongamia experimental saplings at UQ were even able to flourish when the temperature control unit failed and the temperature reached 65 degrees Celsius. If we were to combine these requirements, it results in over 3 million kilometres of land suitable for Pongamia growth. As for labour force, over 300,000 people are currently employed in agriculture. This number can be greatly expanded to support biofuel development, considering the high youth unemployment rate. Illawarra is one such affected region, yet that same region possesses the appropriate soil type and sufficient rainfall to support Pongamia. Establishing Pongamia plantations may therefore be a possible option in creating employment opportunities for these unemployed youths. What's more, over recent decades, there has been a steady increase in the percentage of people with higher education. Our workforce is gradually gaining a wider skill set, a skill set that can be applied to the development of biofuels. The Australian Government has recognised the importance of finding a sustainable energy source. This includes a $15 million funding program supporting companies conducting research on biofuels. The Biofuel Capital Grant Program and Renewable Energy Development Initiative are also examples of the Government's financial support in building a greener future. Could biofuel take over the role of the mining industry and become our next reliable energy source? Could Pongamia? The drawbacks of early biofuels, mainly the competition it caused for food, have created a barrier in convincing investors to continue to support biofuel research. However, as you can see, things are changing. New possibilities are continuously being discovered. Possibilities such as Pongamia, that brings us closer in finding a sustainable energy source. Despite the fact that our country currently possesses sufficient resources to make Pongamia a sustainable energy source, it will only become reality when the public is educated about Pongamia. It is a vicious cycle. Without funding, we cannot conduct research. And without understanding, risk-averse investors will remain hesitant to invest in the development of biofuels. So, spread the word. Our future is counting on it. <laughs>